has been amazing to talking about our community, our CX space, and how we need to be going to the next level. We've been around as an official discipline for about 25 years, maybe slightly longer. We've been around as a concept for centuries, but where do we go next and how do we do that? And sometimes I wonder, are we a bit excessive? So I searched on CXPA, what, it, how do I manage a customer journey? CXPA, again, I'd like to do a disclaimer. There's nothing negative I feel towards CXPA. I feel they are doing an amazing job and they're one of the most reliable associations in our industry. But when I look at the results that come out from my search, I get 15,000 ish responses on what is a customer journey. If I look at them in slightly closer, it's a bit blurred there, but it, it's not very user-friendly. So I need to go through all of those and figure out what is exactly that I need to look at and what do I do with all of that? Uh, so as a CX professional, I would feel lost. And sometimes I think, are we maybe not enough? Because 70% of CX leaders say they struggle to design projects that increase customer loyalty and achieve results. And if you look at global organization, I spoke to a number of leadership coaches and I asked them, where's CX on your agenda? Leadership coaches say nowhere, majority of them. Global organizations say, at the heart. And then you look at their board agenda and customer is very often within any other business. Quarterly results come first, then sales targets, and then maybe customers. It's not all doom and gloom like this, but a lot of organizations pay lip service to customer experience still, even though we've been around for 25 years. And I'm questioning myself and my colleagues, like, why are we not making more impact? Going back to my previous point, are we spending too much time and too much effort trying to talk to each other, fine tune the definitions, make them 100% perfect, but we're not open enough to share practices, frameworks, definitions, just put it out there and free up the time and the energy to make the difference in the organizations, to apply them in practice and to become useful in contributing to the business. So are we really sharing with the others in the spirit of progress? And it's a bit of an elephant in the room, honestly. When we talk to the CX community, there are groups like this where sharing is genuine and we are sharing in the spirit of progress. But there is a much bigger community where CX is almost becoming like the privilege of the chosen. There are influencers, there are top 25 lists, and it's nice to be on them, but is it adding value to anybody? So I checked on Google, are we open enough? CXPA is one thing you have to pay over $200 to be on it and to be able to search things there. So I checked on Google, what is the open information available? And I've asked, what is customer journey management? And my top result was that it's the process of determining what information customers need in each phase of their journey to move them to the next step. Is that really just about information that customers need? I personally, I don't feel this definition is helpful or, and this is what starts the debate. Now the group of us, 25 people here or so can start debating for days. Is this just about information? Is this just about something else? And maybe we'll need to combine it. And again, I want this information to be accurate. I want every person who Googles anything on customer experience, get a definition that is at least satisfactory and at least 80% correct and enables them to move forward, not to think, is this truly right? So 
that got me into the solution mode. And that solution mode started about four years ago, to be honest. But at, back at the time, I really didn't have the guts or the resources to embark on something that's big and significant. Now I feel very passionate and empowered to create a knowledge base for the benefit of CX community. So where did we get started? That there is a fairly rigorous framework that sits behind what we are creating here. And it's called CX Panda and it's a knowledge base. Where we get the content, that's a question I get asked most often. We are not creating content. There is enough. There is more than enough. NPS search in Google, try it. It returns something like 500 billion responses. There, there is enough. So what we did with the help of my customer advisory board is collated a list of eight magazines that are well regarded in the industry and that we use as sources. It says eight podcasts there, but it's now expanded to a bit more than that. 22 books, and obviously that's grown as new books come out. And I'm looking forward to collaboration with Christopher's book club for book summaries and book reviews. And these are the sources that you'd generally go to for knowledge on CX. Why is this not enough? If you could go to eight sources, why are we doing this? Is because when you're really stuck, you're a CX practitioner and you're trying to convince your organization and you need some basic definitions, try and go to those eight sources and try and look for what's journey management. It's hard. They're not structured in a way that we think or in a way that we need. They are literally there to give you information in moment. You can read those magazines and continue your education, but not really when you need something specific. What we also felt is very important is case studies, because information that we have, according to my experience and my research with our potential customers, is not practical enough. There's a lot of talk, there is a lot of theory, big words, but if you're really trying to find an example within your industry or best practice in a particular discipline, it's, it takes a long time. Videos. I respect everybody who's doing podcasts and videos and they serve a brilliant purpose. I know that a lot of people watch them, but again, when they get to a specific problem, they don't have time. So listening to a 60 minute podcast times several podcasts is not an option. So I'm asking experts in the industry to record videos that are no longer that five, than five minutes long. And they only focus on one specific subject. So if you're particularly passionate about a, a subject in CX, do reach out to me and we'll talk about bringing your knowledge across to our users in a very concise and a very practical form. We are not opening this up as a community platform. For one reason is that I don't want it to become a debate space. There is LinkedIn for that. However, this is not an Olga show. This is not my wisdom translated to the world. It is open to challenge and even criticism. If you want to do this, there will be functionality on uh, the website to send us your comments. We will review them. We will run this past our customer advisory board. If it's a valid comment, I'm only happy to amend what we are collating there. So as I say, we're not creating content. I have a team behind the scenes who is working really hard. In fact, two of my team members are have joined us today and I'm very grateful to them. It's Tecla who's doing all of the amazing designs. You, you love the pandas and you love all the colors and the difference that it makes to ease of knowledge consumption. And there is Veronica who's one of the content creators. So Veronica and Anna, another member of the team who couldn't join as she's in a very different time zone. They 
uh, that day job is basically going through all of these approved sources, looking for wisdom, summarizing it all into a specific structure. Then we have content approvers and people who have CX experience and who can tell right from wrong in at a more kind of expert level. And then there are content verifiers and these are niche experts in a particular subject. So for example, in emotional intelligence, I would most likely go to Sandra Thompson, maybe some another person who would read through the article that we are creating and tell us next practice innovation if we've got something wrong maybe or if we need to speak to someone else to confirm some of the points we are determined to make it standardized again for ease of consumption reliability and this feeling of trust so all subjects we have 20 subjects or so and they all follow the same structure it's definitions case studies future trends and then there will be summaries for key articles, summaries for key podcasts, some of the book recommendations, short videos. And our purpose in life is to make it easy, practical, and trustworthy. As I said, it's very simple, or we're trying to make it simple. It's not really. I never realized how much effort is actually going to go into it. Even as I said, four years ago, I thought it's complex. Now I know it's complex. It, there is a lot of effort that goes into it. But I hope that it will be a really great resource for the community. And as Santa was talking, I really could relate to it. If you're in a geography where you can't get access to consultants, if you're in, a, in an organization, irrespective of a geography that says, I'm paying your salary, why do you need consultants? This is the resource where you can download some of the frameworks, you can get examples, case studies, and talk to experts via their videos. So how to get involved at this stage? At this stage, the, all the content creation is still happening, but we have just opened up a wait list and you can register for it at www.cx-panda.com. That wait list gives you an opportunity to vote for topics that are of particular interest to you. That gives us an opportunity to know what to create first. So hopefully we'll help each other with that. Do you follow us on LinkedIn? The LinkedIn page is already live functioning, getting some traction. We've got something like 240 followers, despite us launching only last month, which is again, is very encouraging for me because I feel that this is well appreciated by the community and people want to see something like this. On LinkedIn page, you have an opportunity to challenge us and I'm, I very much welcome that. I like it when people say, you haven't got this definition right, please consider this point of view. As long as it's done in a respectful way, this is gold dust to us. We really appreciate that. Or if you want to say, I'm a particular expert in this, I'd like to create a video, please do. Spread the word. If you feel this is something that our community needs, please talk about it. Send others to the website. There is an opportunity, once you register, there is an opportunity to invite friends through this website. So please do that. And another thing that we've created and is really popular, I never expected that it would be, but it makes sense, is cards. So there are several packs of cards and I'll show you an example on the next page. One pack is 10 basic T CX definitions. What is a CX strategy? What is a journey management? What is customer journey map? So some very basic things that a lot of consultants and experienced CX professionals overlook because we think it's obvious. It's not. A lot of people don't think it's obvious, especially people in your organizations who are not CX professionals. So I, I have 
a few orders for the cards already from CX practitioners who want to distribute them in their organizations. And I was delighted to see this reaction that I'm going to show you now from someone who got the cards. Amazing work. Thank you so much. Oh my God, and you have Panda here on your phone as well. This is amazing. It looks like you worked really hard on this. I'm speechless actually. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for <laughs> listening. And I am looking forward to an open discussion on this because it's important for us. Oh, it's a great initiative and to know you're at the helm is brilliant. It, you know, um, we're privileged, we're all hearing the story at, at the start. I think probably in a few years time we'll be hearing the story of how you progressed and became the standard and the place for which we could go and get our resources on customer experience which could be trusted. So brilliant. I wish you all the success. Has anyone got any questions? I mean, it was really lots of information for us there. Has anyone got any questions they'd like to ask of uh, Olga. There's a suggestion to refer to the CX Book of Knowledge. Um, yes, uh, we're published. aware of yeah. the book. We're using yeah. it in parts. CX Book of Knowledge is available to XP, for those of you who don't know what it is. It's an amazing piece of work by 70 professionals, if I'm not mistaken, working over a period of almost a year to do something similar to what we're doing is to collate all the wisdom into one single source. Mm -hmm. That book is available to CXPA members for free. So if you are a CXPA member, do take advantage of it. It's available to non-members for $99. It's a useful resource. It serves a slightly different purpose in mm. my point of view, because we are looking for easy, accessible, quick knowledge. They are probably looking for more of, uh, wisdom sharing, uh, but it, it's a great resource. It's got about 300 pages. Unfortunately, as a CXBA member, you can't download it and it's not very easy to search, but it doesn't take away the content. I remember when we started the World Games, we had some people playing who were new to CX and they reflected on it. It was very difficult to find a place to go unless you paid a, a membership to actually get some useful content and kind of bite-sized stuff. So I think, you know, that the quality and the accessibility, your knowledge and accessibility, they're the combination and that's what you're going to be providing. So really yeah. privileged to, to hear the story, Olga, and wish you the very best on your journey. And no doubt be taking from there as well as I would imagine a number of the people here may be contributing as well. Mm -hmm.